when the moment has passed, when the hours are no longer hours, and at the end of the day, where does the time go? This is The Time House. In a grand, rambling, ramshackle mansion where all history is stored, Lord Time's family labour eternally to clear up anomalies and keep the whole temporal realm moving smoothly. In a story involving a Sasquatch, a UFO, the year 1954, and Father Christmas, they try to shift around pyramid building aliens, randy Italians and suspicious pirates to places where their presence no longer creates contradictions in time. While he's negotiating with the big boss, Father Time, otherwise known as Leonard, leaves his family Rex, Michael, Richard and his eldest son Nicholas, alongside Wolf the Handyman and Greenwich the Butler, to handle things. But the Time House is full of surprises. A second series even saw Tharg the Mighty himself get caught up in the shenanigans. Created by writer Peter Hogan with art by Tim Bollard, Time House is Doctor Who meets Primeval by way of Jeeves and Worcester, a gentle fantasy comedy series without death and destruction that's much more of a friendly caper through mythic cliché than the usual high-octane action readers were familiar with. For all of its gentility, Time House was a nice break from the violence of Mark Miller and Grant Morrison's summer offensive, though the change in style and pace was a bit jarring. Bollard's art has a pleasant European Ligna Claire feel that seems like Hergé let loose with fuzzy felt, a style perfectly fitting the story, but a little out of step with 2080 at the time. The story treads the same kind of path as American Gods and Fables, and it's probably what we call an all-ages series these days. Time House has never been collected, so you will need the original progs, which are progs 860 to 866 and 919 to 927. Or well, something a lot less family friendly next week on the 2080 ABC as we meet the blue skinned medic turned soldier, Tor Cyan. <laughs>